Good morning and welcome to day three slash four because it's day three in Disney, day four of the holiday. Anyway, so today we are going to Hollywood Studios which I'm so excited for like especially the Star Wars stuff because we literally missed it by like a few days last time and I'm just oh I'm just so excited. So we've done a Genie Plus this morning for Smuggler's Run and then we're probably going to try and queue for Rise of the Resistance. We've kind of accepted we'll do a longish queue but it'll be worth it. Um, and then we are going to Ogre's Canteen which will be really really cool and then we're just going to be in Hollywood Studios so I'm just I'm just so excited. We're going to have hopefully a Jack Jack Num Nums and we're going to try some of the blue and green milk. I think I'll like the blue milk, I don't think I'll like the green but it's kind of a rite of passage I've heard for Star Wars so we're going to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I haven't, this is honestly just everything's just going so smoothly and like I'm just so happy. Like Disney's just, you can't be miserable here. And yeah, I'm just having the best time ever. This is my favorite Disney holiday, so. Woo, honeymoon. stupid noise and then you saw the camera. <laughs> We've made it to Hollywood Studio. It's really hot today, like proper, like proper hot. Um, proper hot. I'm, I'm annoyed because I was like, I was such a uh, great movie ride kind of gal and I was like, no, this is going to be rubbish. But actually the mini and Mickey's Railway thing does actually look really good. So we're going to go straight to Galaxy's Edge, which I'm so excited for. And then, yeah, just have a good explore. So, yeah, it definitely is busier today, which is cool.
is so cool. James, look at the detail, that is incredible. My watch is go my uh, magic band's going absolutely wild. Yeah, mine. It's just like buzzing. Um, right. Even the bins look cool. Oh, wicked. That's good. So we just did Smuggler's Run, which was really cool. I'm glad we didn't get to be the pilot the first time, because I think I'd have found it really stressful. And we are starting our first drink with a detonator, because I mean, why wouldn't you? So this is the Diet Coke one, and that's the regular Coke. And they also do a Sprite. But these are really cool. These are so excited. This is like on my list of things to have, and I'm gonna take it home. And but apparently at the airport you still have to separate them, otherwise they're like think it's something doobie. So yeah. Hey, let me see your drink. You're gonna have some. Yeah. If I can open it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that went well. That was style. That was so stylish. Here's Lizzie drinking a Star Wars drink, but going into Toy Story. Yeah. Crossing franchise. Yeah. You can't do that. I just have so. Who's that? Buzz, 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 Buzz. Yeah. I do, I'm a big fan of the 0.5 because it lets you just take everything in. Toy Story Land. Blocking the entrance, or guarding the entrance I should say. The pizza slice, yeah. And look, restrooms. Exciting. So here you come for Jack Jack Num Nums. So we've come into, I think this is called Pixar Courtyard, um, to have our breakfast, which is very nutritional, of um, Jack Jack Num Num, which is like, you can't see in this light, one of my fave snacks ever. It's so good. And yes, we're going to sound like real a-holes, but um, we had these for the first time in LA on the um, Incredi Coaster, and you could smell them, and they're just amazing, so cheers. That's very good. We went up near one of them earlier. In Rise of the Resistance. For this remote desert world in the Outer Rim Territories. Join the festive Uta holiday celebration in the streets of Moss Nespa. Then head to the arena and cheer for your favorite pilot in the annual Uta E Classic. Or set sail on the Doom Sea in a luxurious fail barge. Then rent a land speeder and <laughs> Oh, I'm on the job! <laughs> Howdy, After a whole one hour, we are now going for our early lunch. 
It's just because we've got fast, I keep counting fast, fast, Ginny Plus, and then we're going to go and brave the queue for um, Rise of the Resistance. It is so hot today. But yeah, we're eating at Woody's Lunchbox, which I haven't done before. And I'm going to have the Pop Tart thing. It's not called a Pop Tart, but it's a Pop Tart basically. And James is going to have some tachos. Tachos. Tachos? Tachos? tachos. tachos. I don't know, one of those. So unless you want to fold a table, then you're not really going to get a seat here. Unless you come like first thing in the morning. But I love the theming, like I do like baby bells. But I prefer the light version. Just put it out there, I prefer the texture. So, bit of a stressful queue situation. Um, so these are the tachos, they look really nice, or top, I don't know how to say it, so apologies. Obviously two coats, and then, yee, pop tart! Excited for that. So, that is really nice. It's a lot nicer than pop tarts, because I have those at home. And this is like a sweet one. Mmm, it's re really tasty. Happy with that. Really, I thought, I thought it would literally just taste like a pop tart, and it tastes really like pop Mm. Yeah. So we've finished eating and now we're heading to see the little like Mickey Mini shorts. Just more to get an air con because you know that's fun. Or we might be or we might have a change of plan here. Or you're going to frozen. Yeah. Let's do it. I love frozen. Honestly, it's the best. Hi! It's the best for adults. It's hilarious. Like this is like my must. And we kind of did it as a joke one time and now we're like, this is like, we have to do this. Well, that was a nice unexpected little break before our Mickey and Minnie's Railway. I love that show. And I love how like they keep it up to date. Like they made a joke about um, virtual learning. It was just really good. Yeah. <laughs> wording? What? There's a wordle joke in there. Oh, and there's a wordle. James loves his wordle. So, yeah, there's a wordle joke, which is really funny. Today. It's okay. Um, so, we're going to head to Mickey and Minnie's, and then it'll be time for the long queue of the day for Rise, which I'm so excited for. But, yeah, it is very hot today. I don't know if it's because, like, Hollywood's very concretey. That's that's a genuine, like, description. Concretey. <laughs> We're going to go on Mickey and Minnie's Railway. Um, I'm not going to record on this one because I want to enjoy it because it's my first time. I will try at some point during the holiday too. Yes. We got a good row. We got number one. We've just come off Mickey and Minnie's. I'll record it probably the next time. It was so good. Like, I was really impressed. I thought it was literally just going to be like a uh, great movie library with a different theme, but it was completely different. It reminded me more of like Ratatouille. So, we are now heading to Rise of the Resistance for our very, very long queue. So, <laughs> probably get a snack, uh, not a snack, a drink before. So, we're nicely hydrated. But yes, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm very excited though. I thought it, I wasn't going to particularly like it, but it's well nice. 
I love hearts and a drink. Bang bang. Lots of weapons. Rise of the Resistance. It was so good. You can tell it's really humid. My hair looks like just a fluffy mess. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I can say I can say my hair's fluffy. You can't say my hair's fluffy. Like you can't insult my hair. Um, so yeah, that was so good. Like just I loved all the little elements of it. It was just really good. Uh, yeah, my favourite bit was a bit with the stormtroopers. That was awesome. So yeah, we just had some photos. And then we're going to explore the shops and probably do Rock and Roller Coaster. Woo! Just wandering around, we've noticed a lot of shops are closed, like completely shut down. So, don't know why that is. Sorry, I was nearly walking into people. But yeah. I don't know whether it's COVID, whether it's the global shortage or whatever, but yeah, a lot of shops are closed. Particularly notice it here today. So we are at Mama Melrose. Um, just so if you have an allergy, um, which I do, they put it on your receipt. So it's really good that they're really accommodating to allergies. Um, so yeah, nice. You're welcome. So I don't know if my last clip made sense because my brain's just like, it's so hot, I'm like, ooh, like, I can't think. Um, but yeah, if you've got an allergy, just say, because they're really good. And like, it's like, before I've had experiences where allergy is really restricting and like, they don't give you anything because like, oh, it may contain nuts. Um, mine's peanut, but they were really good and like, I can have everything, so it doesn't stop. Look at this as a starter. It smells incredible. Yeah. Um, I wish you could get like, smell -a vision I just lately laughed at my own joke. <laughs> James has got his meatballs. Mm. Yum. And I've got chicken parmesan, so which is my traditional Mama Melrose dish. Yum. Mama Melrose was really nice. It was we were saying it's the nicest Mama Melrose we've ever had. Like it was really nice, and the waiter was really good. Um, we've just done uh, Star Tours, which was really fun because like we there were two that we've never ever done before, 
they the two phases it went to. So we are now on our way to Ogres Cantina, which I'm so excited for. This is like one of my favourite, well not, blah, 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 blah. you can tell it's hot, my brain's like fried. Um, one of my fave things, does, one of the things I was most excited for. <laughs> that eventually came out in good English. Yeah, you can tell it's hot, my brain's just really struggling to communicate. So we finished at Ogre's Canteen. It was it was good, like I'm glad I've done it, but it was quite expensive, which kind of like we spent forty pounds or forty dollars on two drinks, which just feels quite excessive. Um, but we were gonna do Mickey Minis, but given that we're gonna try and get to the bus. We're gonna try and beat the rain to the bus. Try. Um, <laughs> try because we just thought it was better than waiting 30 minutes to like get on Mickey and Minnie's in the rain. Yeah. And we're just like mindful of trying to manage our energy levels. And I'm wearing white. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know. <laughs> Jones wearing white, which obviously going to see through. Hollywood studios don't need that. No, nobody needs to see that nakedness. Nakedness. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, just in time. Oh, I'm drier than you. No one saw me when it's fine. 